coming off following this imaginary shape. So even though you see me stop, I'm not stopping underneath, I'm stopping outside. Does that make sense? I'm trying to make it as simple as possible. So this is the exaggerated move. This is what it looks like while I'm cutting. Same thing. That's with the two open. It doesn't look like much has changed, but you all heard me cutting hair. You heard the hair being cut and falling off. So now, it's still open. I flattened it out a little bit more, but I'm not going as high. Meaning I flattened the clipper to the head instead of having it pulled out at a 90 and raise it. I'm keeping it flat. And then once I hear cutting happen, I do what? I'm looking at you. What do I do? I pull out. I pull away from it. So following the shape, while I was looking at you all, I was listening. I'm not afraid because this is muscle memory. Okay? Go in, remove a little bit of that weight. Once I hear a little bit of cutting, I'm looking, I pull away, I take a look at it, make sure I'm not cutting too deep, and I pull away. That's with it open. Did the line kind of go away here and not here? Right? Now I'm going to go ahead and close it. I'm going to do the same exact thing and had to tilt them, starting all over again. This is with the two. I did the three first close, and then I went to the two open, tilted at 90, and slowly worked my way down while it was open, making adjustments along the way. The reason that I cut like this is because the shape of his head is different than the shape of your head. And what I'm looking for is that sweet spot where it starts to cut the hair. As long as I stay within the shape of the cut, it doesn't matter which angle as long as I'm hitting my sweet spot for this particular haircut. We all good? All right. So it's, I got to start all over. I'm open again with my two. Just double checking because I don't know where I stopped. Right there, that looks good. Flatten it out a little bit more. That looks good. I'm all the way flat. Not much coming off that I don't want to cut any more up higher. I'm going to stay low. I'm going to go ahead and close this. I'm going to tilt this at a 90 again, working right above that line. In order to remove a line, you have to cut above the line. We created the line because we were cutting below that hair and there was too much weight. That line is slowly going away because I'm cutting above the line and minimizing the weight. So as I'm minimizing the weight, this line will slowly disappear instead of me cutting below it. Because if I'm cutting below it, what happens? I start lifting the line up if I go too deep. So I want to remove the hair because this is already blend. I want to blend this to my one and a half. Started with a three, now I'm at a two. I'm closing my two, holding it at a 90. It's doing what I want, slowly tilting it down. It's doing what I want, slowly tilting it down. Slowly tilting it down. Now it's all the way flat. Does the line look like it's disappearing? Now, what did we create that second line with? One and a half. Close. What am I do now? I'm going to open the one and a half, and I'll be right at that same spot. I'm going to also tilt it. I made a statement before I started. You can create efficiency with bad, with bad habits. What I mean is, you might be doing something wrong, but you get so good at doing something wrong that it looks good and you get, you get by. You get better at it. You're like, wow, my bad habit, I'm getting through the haircut and it looks good. I will tell you that I, will, I, I personally believe that the majority of people who are doing tutorials on YouTube, and if you're actually listening to what they're saying, a lot of times they have no idea what they're doing. They're just sharing their POV. Is there anything wrong with their POV? No, because it's their point of view. But if they're trying to teach you technical, if they're trying to teach you what it is that's happening, the why behind it, a lot of times they don't know. It's, I've been doing it this way so long, and I've gotten away with it and they got faster. So they've gotten efficient 
with bad habits doesn't mean that what they're doing is actually good. If I 